The formation of gender-based violence committees in schools has been described as the best way to tackle gender-based violence and all the forms of abuse among young people, especially in secondary schools. Executive Secretary of the Female Education Board, Professor Al Mustafa Nama Katuko, made the assertion after two day training of school career guidance and counselor on gender based violence prevention and response. ADBN Northwest correspondent Lawal Aliyu was there and now reports. Professor Al Mustafa Namaka, while presenting a paper titled Effective Communication and Active Listening, stressed the need for proper understanding of handling cases of survivors of gender based violence and abuse. There are certain ways through which they are being communicated, how to handle their communication. How do you communicate to those who have been involved in gender based violence, especially? the sexual molestation, sodomization, defilement, and other sexually related gender-based violence. We have certain ways through which we communicate to them. Marlon Ravi Ugendi, who also presented a paper titled Support Service Connecting Students with Appropriate Resources, said Sokoto State has all the services for the survivors of gender based violence. There are different services available for the survivors of gender-based violence in Sokoto State. And that's why I was talking to them and also listening different services ranging from health, psychosocial, livelihood, legal services and what have you. So all the services are available in the state just to ensure that justice is done to survivors of gender-based violence and also provide them on some of their needs so that they can also come up from the trauma that they are facing in the course of abuse. Margaret Amodu, the representative of Global Right in Sokoto, said the two-day training is necessary because of the growing numbers of abuse in schools. We will train um, capacity on those who are having direct contact with the students. It's important because these are the persons that are able to report such cases and then COVID in the sense that they are able to train the children to be able to say no when they are supposed to say no. Alajisani Umar Jabi, the district head of Gagi in Sokoto South local government area, who is the grand patron of the Community Dialogue Committee in Sokoto, said measures were put in place to ensure that culprits of the act are punished accordingly. Necessary for us to establish a good relationship, a rapport, and as well as structure in the schools, so that we avoid uh, uh, the culture silence. If you see something happening between the student and school and, and, and the teacher, then we need a report so that our surveillance team will follow up to meet them the last mile and ensure justice is done to survival. The two-day training was organized by Community Dialogue Committee and Sokoto State Female Education Board with support from the Global Right, UK Aid and KUKA Centre. From Sokoto, Lawal Adiyu, ADBN News.